Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. My mom asked me to make a video, so here you go. These days I find it quite fascinating that I find myself not having to set the alarm before I go to bed. Uh, but then very often I find myself waking up the same time as I used to. But this morning in particular, I woke up uh, 35 minutes before uh, my usual time of waking up. So I was like, let me give myself five extra minutes of, of sleep, which I did, and then it was left with the 30 minutes. Then I got up, I did some push-ups, some stretching, some exercising, and I truly didn't know that a TV screen had a perfect uh, mirror look. And so it was nice just being able to stand in front of the TV while I turn off, see myself in it as I did my stretches and, and all that. What a great way to start the day. But of course, I did use part of the 30 minutes also uh, to pray, to pray and, and to pray for you and your intentions as well as many people have been asking for those prayers, especially in this difficult time. But in my prayer, the Lord inspired my heart with these words, which I would like to share with you this morning. The words were, it doesn't matter how difficult it is to live. What matters is how you live that difficulty. Again, I repeat, it doesn't matter how difficult it is to live. What matters is how you live that difficulty. And so I offer to you then in this time of crisis, in this time of difficulty, let us choose to live this difficulty in hope. Let us choose to live this difficulty, letting the lost light continue to shine upon our lives, even as we live also in faith. Please, the sun is up. Open that window. Open your curtains to let in some sunshine, to let in some fresh air. Go out for a walk, if you might. Uh, recently, a friend of mine in the neighborhood invited, invited me out for a social distancing walk. And how beautiful that was. I really didn't want it to end. Friends, let us choose how we want to live this difficulty. And it's always important that we plan the day ahead rather than allowing the day to plan itself out for us. And once we plan the day, I think we'll find much more meaning to our livelihood, even amidst this difficulty. Again, let us choose to live in hope. But let us also choose to live in faith and how powerful it is then that today in our gospel reading, we find the crowd saying to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always and this happened right before the lord had told them that it is his heavenly father that gives them the true bread of life a bread that once they eat a cup once that they drink that they will never hunger they will never thirst and then at the end the lord tells them that i am the bread of life whoever comes to me will never hunger and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Very, very difficult in this time that we're not able to receive this bread of life in the body and blood of Jesus Christ when we come to Mass because we cannot come these days. And of course, in the scriptures, especially in John, often we will hear the Lord say that once we eat his body and drink his blood, we will have eternal life. 
but I find it very interesting in today's gospel that he is not asking us to eat his body and drink his blood. He says, whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. I call that a different way of also receiving the Lord spiritually, that we know that we too can come to him, go to him in prayer, and yes, we will never hunger. We can definitely believe in him amidst these difficult times, and yes, we can never thirst. The very same fruits that we receive whenever we receive him in the Holy Eucharist. We pray that as we continue to live through this difficulty, uh, we will not be so much bothered about how difficult it is to live, but that we will rather live it in hope, in faith, in our Lord Jesus Christ. We truly, truly miss you and we love you. God bless.